Hello there, Goblin here, and today we are looking at new Arcline demo. What is new Arcline? It's a CRPG, very very similar in systems to other RPGs, which I will be discussing shortly. But first, if any of the dev team uh, is watching this, I do want to try more. So if you have more, give me. I, I want to try more. This is really good. Anyway, let's look at the systems. It uses the dice system for practically anything so combat determines how much damage you do uh, and in the uh, open world athletics persuasion stealing everything uses the dice system so it's very very similar of course you have your uh, run of the mill stats intelligence constitution strength and so on and of course your perks which are athletics uh, sleight of hand and so on so you will feel very very at home if you played any of the crpgs in the last decade especially if you played Baldur's gate 3 the setting is of course different uh, it's very interesting uh, industrial setting where the sorcerers who used to rule the world have been replaced by humans who use technology and now everything is clashing and everything is going to hell as usual in those kind of games now i do have to say the demo is pretty pretty bare bones but that's just because this is a very very early build so you have to keep that in mind while playing there is no voice acting there is uh, very very little to explore in this demo but it does showcase what the game will be about there is a big decision kind of to make at the end which in full game i'm guessing would uh, affect how other people see you and how you look at yourself in the mirror after deciding the demo has two classes available those are diesel engineer and voodoo shaman and we will be showcasing the combat of course i will be showcasing both of them in uh, the same fight so you can actually compare how it is there will be more classes and more races right now you can be human and elf there will be dwarfs and giants too so that's coming in the full game but for now we have that i do recommend you try this out for yourself now we will look at the character creator to see how it looks like so here we are in the character creator as i said you have two races right now that's human and elves and you will have giants and dwarfs confirmed already later on i do wonder how giants will fare you can change your appearance with a little bit of hairstyles different face shapes i don't know if that is the full scope of the character creator will get just four faces or if it will be more but it's pretty pretty serviceable right now you can create a little bit what you want so there is no uh no complaints about that it, it is slightly bare bones right now with the portraits you have just four available the portraits look very good so i hope they add more which i'm sure they will because four portraits is is a little bit too little here you have the uh stat points and skill points strength dexterity constitution perception everything is very very known from what we played before in crpgs so nothing more to add here very serviceable but now let's look at combat so first up we will look the diesel engineer which is a ranged character uses guns rifles and so on your rifles and your guns they use magazine in battles so you have to kind of watch out for this uh so you don't run out of magazine and here is your party uh, friend his name is mick we don't know much about him because the game starts not at the beginning but in the middle of a quest line that's okay but now look at uh, the diesel engineer we have three skills at strict shot uh, below that it's a dual pistol shot and then we have sprint which actually kind of adds an action uh, if you need it so just three skills at this level you will see that compared to the voodoo shaman who has a little bit more but he does quite a lot of damage uh, the white bar above the health bar is armor and some of the skills can bypass the armor which is pretty good in this case because the armor does regenerate every turn so if you just um, kind of 
whittle down armor, you didn't do much because at the next turn this will regenerate, uh, just as shown here. Now Mick, right here, he got a little bit uh, confused because he got hit in the head as one uh, does get confused if that happens to them. Here I have to use my dual shot because my uh, trick shot is not available. Some of the skills do have cooldowns, but this is going pretty pretty easy for me right now. Um, there is the combat right now. It it has room for improvement. It is serviceable, but I do think they have to improve it a little bit. That. I guess they can do still, but it is enjoyable, I didn't mind it, it's turn-based of course, as it is in this kind of games, but yeah, it could be improved a little bit, I will win here, because it wasn't too hard to be honest for the range character, but now let's look at the Voodoo Shaman, a little bit more exciting I think. So this is the same fight, I just came from the different direction, and Voodoo Shaman itself has a very high initiative so he starts faster and here is his skills soulbind grasping hands we have basic attack which is voodoo attack sprint is same for i think every class toxic skull a little poison here and the mvp the taunting totem you will see why it's an mvp so if i cast it right there my enemies will not know what to do they will just attack this and then for my second action i'll just do some AoE and that will basically do it for this fight. I don't even know if I need Mick for this because right now I'm in no danger of being attacked. Of course if they're closer to you than to the totem they will attack you so you have to keep that in mind. I will also showcase Soulbind which is I think one of the best skills in this demo. I will showcase it in another fight. Uh, but right now uh, you can see that they are just attacking my taunting totem and I don't have to do much. I just have to keep away. He can go in, Mick can go in because I do need some damage of course. But he's a tank so he doesn't care and his damage right here is pretty good too. Now his second turn and this one's almost dead. I will not attack the ranged one behind uh, because he will just die from the AoE very very quickly. And here you can see even Mick is in no danger at all. For my turn I will just try to kill this dude here. Leave the rifle dude alone because he doesn't have any chance. And I think I'll just use the toxic skull here just to put some counter on this dude here who will not be alive for long to see the red one he just died he just died this totem is awesome and then combined with tools that you have it's very easy to kind of uh, get through the fight now one fight starts very very close proximity to everyone so you will have to maneuver that one if you're voodoo shaman but it is what it is and here is the soul bind so what this does is it soul binds two creatures together i don't know how automatons have souls but that's it and whenever you damage them, the other one takes damage too. So here's Mick hitting this one and the other one almost died. It's it's a great, great skill to have. Very, very helpful. Um, now I will attack him with the basic attack and the other one will die. <laughs> which is pretty, pretty good. So combat, serviceable, could be better, but it's good for now. I can't say anything too bad about the combat or I can't say anything bad about the game right now even though like I said the demo is very very bare bones as of now but you can try it out for yourself on Steam Nextfest of course I have the link in the descriptions as I always do and do try it out for yourself uh, the decision at the end and the storyline of the quest is really nice it does give some insight into the morality system that will be in the full game the levels that you gain here, there's like two levels to gain. They don't do much, they just showcase a little bit of leveling up. But from what I can see, from what I play this game, and I went through the demo three times with different uh, decisions and with uh, a little bit of different tactics in combat. This one, keep an eye on, especially if you like CRPGs, if you like Clash of 
technology versus magic this will this will be very very good for you um, this is something as a very very soft uh <laughs> sequel to arcanum even though it's not made by the same team of course not but i think this is the closest we are getting to the arcanum sequel so if you like this game do follow it do wishlist on steam it does help the developers a lot if you do that kind of raises up their spirits to you there's a lot of uh, wish lists and so on and so forth but i do recommend that you keep an eye on this one it is showing a lot of promise so that's my thoughts on it here's a little roadmap so you can see what is coming new companions level ups of course new locations and every single thing that you can imagine this was my coverage of new arcline if you like the video subscribe like comment what you think about the game you think it will be successful well i sure hope so because we always need a good crpg until next time, Goblin out. Bye.